Hello, this is Jota from 3DMA. Welcome to a new video. And today we're going to take a look at a question that you guys have been asking in our Discord community. Uh, by the way, I'll be linking that uh, Discord to our description if you want to join. Um, and that question is, black textures or black materials, black artifacts in things that shouldn't be black. So how do we first replicate that issue and how do we fix it? If you create a new cube here in Blender, this is a normal cube and you navigate here into the data properties and you select the, the object you will find here under UV maps you'll find that this is named UV map right so this is how blender and names all the um, all the UV maps from all their native uh, objects cool so what happens when you bring uh, models from all the different um, software like for example Maya so we first started doing models in Maya and then we started uh, transitioning into Blender so uh, most of our models have a different naming convention uh, in this case the naming convention from Maya is map 1 so you can see the difference between some of the objects that we've created in Maya and some of the ones that we created here in Blender one is UV map and the other one is map 1 okay so and, but you'll be asking, okay, and but this looks fine, this looks correct. Sure. And but once you combine these two meshes, right? So for example, let's say we have here our night vision, and we combine that by pressing Ctrl J, and we combine that with any other mesh that has a different UV map name. Uh, for example, this helmet. Let's make a um, let's isolate this just so we can see better so we can hide these glasses as well and let's say we combine this helmet and now this helmet is named map 1 and this night vision is named UV map so let's combine both and you will see that one of the two is going to turn out black okay if you go here into the UV maps you see that um, it's locating two different map names but it's only showing one of them um, so how do we fix this? Uh, so first of all, we're going to do Control C. And by the way, if you cannot do Control C uh, because you close the file or and, and open it later on in a different date or whatever, uh, you're going to have to se manually select um, your meshes. In this case, you want to do by pressing L, like Lima, you want to go and select all your different meshes. Okay can use different techniques here to select your messes okay the way I'm doing this lasso is by doing control right click okay so you wanna select everything here you wanna make sure you don't leave anything and then you're just gonna press P and you have your uh, mess separated again Cool. So now that we've separated our mesh, what we want to do is get rid of uh, the naming map that, sorry, in this case, uh, the map that is turning our mesh black, which in this case is map 1. And now we want to uh, do the same thing here. So now everything is looking right again, but the maps are still named differently. So now it's very simple. We just want to control C and control B the name on this uh, other mesh so now both have the same name if we now combine these two meshes you will see that there's no longer any blackening or weird um, issue with the textures right cool so now that we figured that out we're gonna load here our entire character and you will find out that most of the of the meshes have this issue where uh, they are all named map1 so of course one thing you can do is just uh, select this name and then go one mesh one by one yes do control c control v and renaming all of them but uh, thank you to uh, to Clyde shout out to Clyde he created this script for us um, that allows us to do this automatically okay so we're gonna go here into the scripting tab we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing 
and again all of these uh, things are named uh, map1 and we don't want that we want everything to be called UV map just like this one right um, again just for a quick test if I do control J uh, here you will see that everything that is not named map1 uh, sorry everything that is not named UV map is gonna be black uh, or gonna have some sort of artifact okay so um, how do we run this script okay I'll, I'll leave you guys um, the script on the description and it's very simple you just copy it hit here on new paste it and then press the play button here the run script and boom magically now all of our meshes are named UV map super quick fix super awesome so now we can just select everything, combine it, and you will find that we don't have any blackening anymore. So that's how you guys fix it. Uh, if you export it, it should fix it in pretty much any engine, uh, like Unreal or Infusion. A lot of people from Infusion uh, has been asking about this uh, problem. So if you export um, your mesh with the different naming uh, conventions, this is what is going to happen. You're gonna see the ones that have a different naming convention that are gonna break. Uh, you can see here, for example, the roll one ha had a different name. So those are gonna break. Um, but here on the right, we just exported one. Um, again, this is all combined into one mesh, right? They are not separated or anything. Um, so you're just gonna see that um, this one that we exported, all of them have the same naming convention. So everything is working just fine. And this is Marmoset, but again, this should work in Unreal Engine and Fusion or any other engine.